One of the most important things of your heating system is, in fact, your radiators. And we'll take a look at radiators now. There's a few things that can go wrong with radiators. Firstly, you might find that they'll be cold at the top, along here, which means you've got air in the system. Now, the easiest way to bleed these is with a radiator bleed key. Before you do that, you do need to turn the system off to make sure that nothing's running at all. You then take the key, and with a piece of rag underneath it, or a cloth, just to collect any, any, any water, you turn the key slowly, and then you'll find that the air will come out, and you'll hear it coming out, and then maybe a few bubbles mixed with the water. Once the water runs clear and the bubbles have disappeared, then you can re-tighten the, the, the valve and restart your heating system, fill the radiators. If they're hot at the top, you've done the job and it's completed. And another problem with the uh, radiator could be a build-up of sludge in the, in, in the system. If you fill the radiator, you'll tend to find that it'll be cold at the, the, the bottom and hot at the top. Now, sludge forms like a mountain shape actually inside the radiator, so you can't see it. It actually starts building up at the bottom here and then gets bigger and bigger and bigger and forms like a mountain shape inside the, the, the radiator. If you fill the radiator yourself, you'll find that you'll have hot spots at the top and then down at the bottom here, it will feel relatively cold. And when you do find you've got a build up of sludge inside the radiator, that's the time to call for expert advice.